Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and a few years ago when I was flying my Bebop 2, I discovered that about three and a half miles north of uh, this location, there was a, uh, a abandoned, air, abandoned airstrip which had been used during World War II, and so I did several videos back then, and I'll put a link to uh, one of them where I, I flew the, uh, the, the uh, Bebop 2 with a flight plan and actually went over the, the field. Following that, uh, it became a restricted area because uh, I think it's the Army National Guard uses it to uh, uh, do flight tests with their helicopters. And then recently that's been removed and I thought I'm gonna go up there and see what it's like nowadays since uh, many hours have passed or many, <laughs> many years have passed. And so this is, I'm on my way from the lower part, lower right of the picture there, uh, uh, up to where the uh, <clears throat> flags are at the top. I'm headed up there to uh, uh, land, uh, to take my, uh, my Mini 2 and fly, although I'm not gonna fly over it because I think it's, uh, it's not restricted, but I think it's uh, uh, registered as a Gila port. So I'm just gonna go straight up and, uh, you know, close to 400 feet and see we, uh, if they've built any buildings or anything's changed and just to see what it's look what it looks like since I haven't uh, been able to fly up there for a long time. So um, that's where I'm headed. I'm going to take off uh, from this park, which uh, I don't know, I can't remember now. It was back in 2017, I think, uh, the last time that I took off from this little park. And so uh, uh, it's been a while. So I'm going to go up there. There's a little tree up there, and I'm going to uh, do, uh, do my flying underneath the shade of that tree and uh, then uh, uh, <laughs> just go, well, not straight up, but pretty much straight up from the tree and uh, see what it looks like over there. So now then, um, as I come up there and I stop, I want you to uh, listen carefully. Oh, my. Something disappointed me, and uh, so I didn't fly my drone. <laughs> and uh, so I'm turning back, and uh, we'll go back home. So here I am headed back home and uh, back to my son's place, which is where I live. And so I'm coming in the driveway. My my uh, my son is working in the shop, and you can see the shop door is open, and uh, he's doing some grinding and uh, so forth, working on uh, either he's working on his '69 uh, uh, Chevy re restoration, or he might be working on his Jeep. So I'll let you listen now. Well. I forgot my backpack. <laughs> Fortunately, I like riding my e-bike. It's sitting right here. It'll make a nice long video. How do you like my new helmet? Got that after my crash where I dislocated my left shoulder, which is, seems to be working fine now. So we went back to the park again, and now I'm taking off my Mini 2. And you can see there's a lot of paths on that little uh, inset on the left there. I went back and forth uh, <laughs> a couple times. So anyway, now we're headed up to... Uh, to uh, as you can see from this uh, Google Earth map, that's where I'm taking off from. And then directly above that is that old abandoned airstrip. And I want to know, just I just want to know if they built anything up there or if they have, uh, or if they have anything different than I can look at. But as I got up to, I got up to about 360 or 70 feet and uh, just scanned with my eyeballs 
on the on the monitor. And then when I got home, I studied really close because I wanted to see if they had done any changes. Uh, one of my flight plans that I made over there with the uh, with the bebop, uh, they, there was a building that they had uh, that fell apart, and that's just about uh, just below center. And that little white spot there, it's a, it's a, it was an old building, and uh, it's kind of halfway falling apart. But as you can see, uh, there's not much there to really look at, except uh, an old abandoned airstrip. But <clears throat> we can see the uh, the helicopters for, I guess it's the National Guard, uh, flying in and out of there from our house, and they come up over our house down there where I where I uh, departed from on some kind of a flight plan over and over and over. And I think they're using it as a training field uh, for their helicopter pilots. So uh, I think that's what, it, what, it, what they're using it for. And uh, we see them fly over quite a bit. It's always the same path. So I'm pretty sure it's a training, training uh, flight. Sometimes they go further south on, the, uh, on the, that area out there ahead of us there. That's the practice area for the local airports. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching my videos as always, and uh, God bless.